For four years, from 1914 to 1918, Europe seemed hell-bent on self-destruction. In 1914, the Germans attacked. War spread, like the Grim Reaper wielding his scythe. All over the planet. But mostly in Russia, Belgium, Italy, France, the Near East, and the Balkans. The First World War was a massacre of humanity, a monstrous crime. Ten million people died. In France alone, more than a quarter of all men in their 20s were killed. In 1915, an anonymous soldier dares to film a burial brigade at work. In 1916, a survivor of the Battle of Verdun writes, emotion itself has died. Widows, orphans, Desperate mothers number in the millions. But on November 11th, 1918, Madame Diaz in Bourges, France, learns of the ceasefire. The armistice has just been signed. Corporal Pierre Cellier, sounding his bugle, is the first to signal an end to the fighting. For 1,562 days, they have waited for this moment. They dig a makeshift grave for the last of the war's artillery shells. A billion shells have been fired. The First World War cost the equivalent of six trillion dollars in all. On the 11th of November, 1918, these men and women dream of another kind of world, fair and just, where their children will be happy. One of the greatest minds of the 20th century, Austrian writer Stefan Zweig, writes, the war was over, but it wasn't over. We just didn't know it. Thank you.